Hi, today I'm doing a short video on how to run a superstar sequence in your sequence editor software. So when I send out a sequence, it's I normally send out both the .sup, which is a superstar file, and an exported .lms file. Now if you have the retail version of superstar, you can do that yourself. You can load your uh, .sup file. So let me open one here. Let's just do a Disco Santa. How about that one? Okay, so if you open it right here, you can play this right in Superstar and you can see how it plays. If you hit the play button, it'll play eight seconds. If you hit the little uh, camera on a tripod, it'll play the entire sequence. So under tools and your configuration, here is where you tell it, do you have a star and what star controller number it's on. Okay, so are we using cosmic color ribbons? If we are, which one does it start on? And if we're using DMX, which universe does it start on? And do you have three ribbons per universe? Or what most people do is just a single ribbon per universe. So if I say universe one, a single ribbon per universe, this is a 16 strip uh, sequence. This is going to export it from universe one through universe 16. So you might just want to say it's your standard network here because my uh, star ID is on controller 16 up here, I would have to tell this, I would have to go past uh, 16. And for some reason it does that. I have to, uh, because I have DMX right now, I go down to one, but I can do DMX, and then it tends to like it. So from here, I can now export it. So export to sequence editor. And I, you don't want to use the macro channels if you are not using CCRs. So unclick that. So you'd hit OK and you'd name it whatever you like. Okay? Now, in your sequence editor, you're going to start a new sequence. And then that was Disco Santa. So we're going to do a new sequence. It's going to be a musical sequence. You're going to load the music for it. right here and in here you can type in author and other stuff if you like if you are only doing a, a Megatria CCR sequence you really only need one channel you only need uh, to, in order to uh, do it the way you're doing I run 64 other channels of lights in my setup so I would have to do minimum 65 channels because I need 64 channels for my other lights and I need at least one channel for this Megatree but let's just leave it on the 8 for now. And under the initial timing, I use 1 20th of a second, which is 0 0.05, which is also what Superstar uses. Okay, so this is what we have. Here's the 8 channels right here. So what you want to do is click on this channel and instead of the device type being a lightorama controller you're going to tell it is a sequence and then you need to point to that sequence so here's my exported sequences I'll just do a disco Santa and hit OK Now, you need to choose this entire row. So if you right click it and you hit select the row, you can now right click it and you can tell it it's on. Okay, if you don't turn it on, it won't play it. So at this point, you have a musical sequence with only one channel necessary because what this channel is going to do is it's going to play a sequence is going to play this exported superstar sequence. That's all. How, that's also how you do a sequence within a sequence. If these are my regular channels of lights, all these other channels here, and they are, I have these running different programs turning on and off the lights, 
then this it will run these channels plus my CCR tree at the same time. So it's running two sequences at the same time essentially. These are going to be normal lightorama controllers controlling the lights, but this one's going to be playing the actual sequence itself. So I hope that makes sense. You can s now save this as Disco Santa, whatever you want. It'll save it as Disco Santa.lms. You can now play that uh, either you know from here if you have your uh, control lights checked, you can test it out um, or set it up in your control panel. Uh, when you set up your show, uh, what I do a lot is I set up a test show. When I set up these sequences, I load my new sequences that I've tried to uh, put together, run it as a test, see if they work right, and then I just put them in my normal show. So I hope that explains how you can export a superstar sequence and then run it in your sequence editor because that's what you need to do to run the show. It won't run on its own as a superstar file. It has to be exported to a .lms, a light around musical show file, and it has to be loaded into a sequence that you make in the sequence editor here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. If you have questions, please write it in the bottom. I will try to answer any you may have, or if you need a different video or further explanation, let me know. I can maybe put something else together for you. And also, this only works what I just did if you have the retail version of Superstar. If you don't, um, I will ex send you an exporter.lms file. And it actually makes it easier for me if you tell me your configuration. If you're using CCRs and what channel they start on. If you're using DMX, if they're not packed and which universe it starts on. Uh, that helps me out. It's less work for you if I can export it that way for you. Okay, thank you.